Hey guys, Chris Gethin here, CEO of Caged Muscle. Now, if you are shopping for a pre-workout, these are the questions you should ask. Now, I've put together a bit of a cheat sheet here because these are the questions that I would ask as well. So this is gonna help you go out and identify what you should have in your pre-workout supplements. So, does it contain patented creatine HCL? A lot of companies don't. They have the generic version. When you have a patented version of that creatine HCL, you can guarantee that it's backed with the studies and the research to say it does what it says on the bottle. You don't have to just put your hands together and hope it does what it says because that has been backed with the research and studies for safety, purity, and performance. Does it contain proven beta power? which is a natural form of betaine because this has been backed by the studies or do they use a generic synthetic betaine and make false claims that this is the real deal? All you gotta do is look on the back of the label of your product, does it say betaine? Or by betaine, does it say beta power next to it? Look out for these patented names next to the generic terminology. Does it contain organic or synthetic caffeine? Most pre-workouts have a synthetic caffeine, but what you need to look out for is if it's got an organic green bean caffeine in there. That gives you a nice steady release of energy and that doesn't turn into a blood constrictor when you take too much of it. You need a pure form of caffeine that will give you a steady increase and in sustainability of energy. Does it have artificial colors and flavors? Every company that I know of, but there's probably some out there, have artificial flavors and colors. Now, you don't want to put anything artificial. We're supposed to be in the quote unquote health industry here. You eat to improve your health, you exercise to improve your health, your supplements should improve your health and performance. Merge them together. You don't want to have an inflammatory response because your body's trying to digest something that's artificial with red 40, ACE K, dyes, none of that crap. Does it use citrulline malate or pure citrulline? You need to go for pure citrulline. All citrulline malate is, is a citrulline bonded with a malic acid. And a lot of the studies that back up a citrulline malic acid is a very expensive form that is, ex uh, that is used in Spain. Every company that I know of here in the US doesn't use that version. They use just a citrulline next to a malic acid and that's bonded so it's 50-50. So you could only maybe get 50% citrulline. That's why you wanna go for pure citrulline in your ingredient profile to improve that blood vacillation and that pump. Does it contain a Spectra Auric Blend? So when we're in the gym, we build up a lot of free radical damage. That's why we want antioxidants in our system to scavenge those free radicals so we don't encompass a lot of oxidative stress. And then, does it contain fermented branched chain amino acids? The majority of uh, BCAAs and glutamine that are out on the market, vast majority, are extracted from human hair, bird feathers, and animal fur. I don't want that crap in my body, and neither should you you should look for a fermented BCAA that's extracted from like a sunflower less of it, a plant source, not from human hair. Does it contain B vitamins? So you need B vitamins, obviously. A lot of people get uh, confused with niacin, for instance, thinking that a lot of companies put that in to give you a cheap rush. Well, they do. That's why we use niacinamide. So that doesn't give you the flush, how it gives you the B vitamins needed when you're exercising. Does it have coconut water? We get dehydrated very quickly and a lot of people get confused in regards to hydration, thinking that they need a lot of volume of fluid. Hydration is all about your electrolyte balance and coconut water has five, uh, five key electrolytes to keep you hydrated. Your body's made up of around 70% fluid. If you are lacking in hydration by about 5%, you could be down in performance by double that. Does it contain Soy or sunflower lecithin, we use sunflower lecithin. Soy, particularly in the US, is genetically modified, so we don't use any of that in any of our products. We prefer the natural flavors, natural colors, and the sunflower lecithin to reduce that inflammatory response. 
because so many companies and experts out there claim they have Patterson ingredients, but they don't. All you've got to do is look at the label. What they are claiming is borrowed science, referring to studies, referring to research, but putting generic ingredients in their products. It's very easy to distinguish. Now, further from that, Cage Muscle doesn't do any of that. We have the patented ingredients. We also have the informed sport and informed choice guarantee. So look out for that on your label to ensure that you don't have any banned substances that could possibly give you a positive test when you're in the military, on the police force, or going for a, a sporting event. So make sure it has those two symbols. Make sure it's third party tested. So not only is the custom manufacturer testing the product, but the company that you are purchasing from is testing the test. Then you can guarantee that you get everything that it says on the label. And lastly, is it Prop 65 Act certified? We all know what heavy metal contaminants can do to us. And unfortunately, a lot of tests have come out, even as of recent two weeks ago, that the majority of supplements had heavy metal contaminants in. So be sure that is Prop 65 Act certified. So hopefully that has helped you distinguish and understand what you should be looking in your pre-workout to improve your health and performance.